Now we have a theme that's highly explosive. Yes, now we have a topic that is sometimes warlike. The great fairy tale about men and women. The mysterious battle of the sexes. It seems like the oldest story of mankind and at the same time like a never-ending story. Why the hell is it that complicated? I'm sure you were asking yourself the same question. Doesn't matter if you are female or male, if you are 16 or 60 years of age. This essential question about women and men shows up automatically and that is totally logical. Because to fight your instincts is most likely the hardest thing you can try. Try not to eat or try not to drink or even try not to react to something that is very scary or very funny for you. You will maybe fail to ignore the signals of your body while you are trying to fight your instincts. Why? Because it is one of the strongest parts of your very nature. And guess what? The attraction between the sexes are as well one powerful part of our instincts. A very good comparison is a, is a saying of the sailors. You cannot change the wind, but you can adjust your sails. That means exactly you cannot change what is going on anyway. Like the wind as a higher power of the nature but you can adjust to it with your own possibilities. The Buddhists have a very similar saying. You cannot calm the storm, but you can calm yourself and the storm will pass. And here comes now the magical adjustment between woman and man. Indifference to the animal wildlife, we are not trapped in our instincts. They are killing their own children if they feel not safe anymore. In their position in the hierarchy, without even reflect it or adapt through this incident to a better behavior. Now to us, we can. We can change always to the better because we can reflect our actions and experiences and through our great mental ability to think in unbelievable ways we are able to comprehend everything we want especially if it means the world to us like our husbands our wives this is the first barrier where nearly the most people fail are you really in the emotional position that you feel the power to act on yourself and on your relationship doesn't matter what it costs the only goal that exists for you both is the goal of total joy and a happy life together mostly it is not that way most of the time the couples get used to each other and take everything for granted this emotional situation is destined to have one conflict after the other or getting into a life together that based on silence and not enjoying anymore the actions together. There we have it, the main syndrome of unlucky people on this planet, living in a relationship they hate or just prolong because they lost any belief or inspiration to do or get something much better, something amazing. Now the ugly truth. Relationships nowadays are mostly just a manipulative game to cover our needs and interests for ourselves or one another. If you reduce out there, in the most relationships following areas, the finances, the use to each other part, the responsibility for their children's section, and the part of scared to lose what you think 
you own your partner. After reducing these areas, there is mostly nothing more left. And all these points are not equals love. And is it not love? You are all talking about and seeking of, but nearly no one wants to face the truth that it is nearly every time just a sexual attraction in the beginning, instant, and covering other interests like financial security, instant. And last but not least, the fear of loss or losing someone, instant. One secret that is really an art to accomplish, love is not an instinct. Love is a magical experience that someone can have or achieve if you put your cheap instincts and interests to side. And this is really an art because people have to work successfully on themselves. They have to change a lot of what they will never think of. They have to create a relationship in combination with the partner that is completely unknown for them in the first place. But through the teamwork together, everything gets clearer and clearer and both parts of the relationship, woman and man, will change to the better. Both of them will develop true reflection, communication and putting words into actions to a person who is sweet able in the place of love that both persons sharing now together. But honestly, how many people want to really work on it to get there? Because like everything in life, situations are changing all the time. And as well changes the place of love. And that means it is an ongoing process that both people in love have to share and undergo. If it is not that way, don't be surprised if you have drama or conflicts in your relationship. Most of the people have. Maybe you are just a victim of your instincts and lazy habits. But remember, we are not. Everything depends on our attitude and perspective based on our knowledge and willpower. You can do and have everything you want. Just face the truth. Reflect your status quo and up to this get the knowledge you need and put it into action without fear of change because change is a part of everything and will happen anyway. You cannot change the wind but you can adjust your sails. Be an inspiration for yourself be an inspiration for your partner. Enjoy your time together with every part of your being, getting better together, both of you developing their qualities and personality. If not, really, if not, face it and work on it. Get both clear about it to collect all knowledge you need and act upon it with all your love and willpower. If not, let the wind blow you wherever he wants and accept what you got. But my recommendation is only accept joy and happiness because that is what we deserve and always able to create. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.